Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So in this flow series we will understand how to create new contact and opportunities using Salesforce flows. So in this video we will see how to automate this process using a scenario. Then we will understand which flow type we need to create to achieve this requirement. After that we will create flow. Then before activating the flow we need to debug it. After debugging we will activate this flow and we will demonstrate on org. So don't miss any step, after that you are also able to create flow to automate the processes in Salesforce. And if you are new to our channel, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. So whenever we post any new video, you will get update. So here is the scenario. Whenever we create a new account record, the related contact and opportunity should be created automatically. To automate this process, we will create a flow in Salesforce. And after this scenario, we will add a condition. So when the account is active, then only related contact and opportunity should be created. So without any delay, let's jump to the org. So this is Salesforce homepage. So first let's understand scenario. So here I'm opening the account object. Then click on new button to create new account. Then in the account name, I'm entering Salesforce account and then click on save. Now the scenario is when I create the account, the related contact and opportunity should be created. So I am navigating to the contact object. Then as I search for the Salesforce account, and here we don't have any Salesforce account. Let's check opportunities. Here also I am searching for Salesforce. And here also we don't have any opportunities with related to the account. So let's create a flow to fulfill this requirement. For that click on this gear icon, then click on setup. To navigate the flow in the quick find box search for flows. Under the process automation, you will see flows, click on it. Then to create new flow, here we have new flow button, click on it. Now after the updation, here we have two options, start from scratch and use a template. Here I will show you how to create flow start from scratch and then click on next. Now here we need to understand which flow type we need to select. So as per our scenario, when the account is created, then only the related contact and opportunity should be created. For that here you can see in the record trigger flow, this flow launches when record is created, updated or deleted. So here we will select record trigger flow and then click on create button. So in the start element we need to select object so that whenever we create record on that object the flow will trigger. So here I am selecting account and then in the configure trigger we need to select a record is created because as per our scenario when the account is created then only contact and opportunity should be created. At this moment, I am not selecting any condition. After that, here you can see optimize the flow for. Here we have two options, fast field update and then actions and related records. When we select fast field update, then we can only update fields of that particular object. That means, that means here we have selected account object. After selecting fast field update, we can only update the fields from account object. And then here we have actions and related records. That means when we use this option, we can create or update the related records. That means those object are relationship with the selected object. That means this account object, that record we can update or create. So here I am selecting this option and then simply close this. Now in the start condition we have selected the account is created. After account creation, we need to create contact and opportunities. For that here you can see here we have add element icon, click on it. And then here we need to select create record element for that here I am searching for create record. Here you can see create record element click on it. And now here we need to provide label. So here I am providing create contact. As you click on API name it will automatically populate. Then how to set record field values here we need to select manually. And after that here we need to provide for which object we are going to create new record. So here I will select contact and then here we need to select values for the contact fields. 
so for the last name field we need to provide value as you click on this value then scroll down and here you can see triggering account this object we selected in the start element so as you click on it and then search for the name here you can see account name and click on it now what will happen whenever we create new account the name of that account will be assigned to the contact last name so if you want to add another fields you can click on this add field so here i am adding email field here you can see email and then in the value again we need to select triggering account and then search for email field here you can see email click on it if you want to add another fields you can add it after adding field you need to close this now we have added create record element to create the new contacts again we need to add create record element for the opportunity object so here again i am searching create record click on this and here i am entering create opportunity api name will be automatically populate again here we need to select manually and then in the object we need to select opportunity now here you can see now here we have three fields that means whichever field is required in this object that will be appear over here so here we need to provide close date value for that as you click on it now if you want to provide the close date next five or six date after the opportunity is created then here we need to create formula for that scroll down and here you can see new resource click on it and here we need to create formula resource for that in the resource type we need to select formula here we need to enter api name here i am entering close date and then in the data type we need to select date and then in the formula we need to create logic for next 5 or 6 days so here i am entering today because today will be the current date of opportunity creation and then we need to add the days here i am adding 5 days that means after the 5 days of opportunity creation the opportunity will be closed then here i am clicking on done now again for the name field here we have triggering account and then search for name here you can see account name click on it and then we need to select stage as you click on this value field you will see all stages or all pick list values that this stage name field have now here i am selecting prospecting that means whenever this related opportunity will be created this stage name value will be prospecting and now here i am closing this now let's understand this flow first in the start element we have selected the account object whenever we created new account the new contact and opportunity will be created now here i am saving this flow for that click on save enter the flow label here i am entering create related con and opportunity as you click on flow api name it will automatically populate and then click on save now first we need to debug this flow for that click on debug and now for the debugging here we need to select any account so here i am selecting salesforce account and then click on run now the flow is debugged successfully as you click on this debug details here you can see the last name of contact is created and then here also in the opportunity record here you can see the opportunity is also created now let's activate this flow and create a new account so here i am clicking on activate button the flow is successfully activated now let's create new account so first refresh this page and then click on new button to create new account so for the testing purpose here i am entering test record trigger flow and then we need to provide email also because this email we are using in contact object so here i am entering test flow at the rate gmail.com and then click on save button as you click on details now let's check whether the related contact or opportunity has been created or not for that navigate to the contact object to see the newly created contacts in the list view we need to select new this week and here you can see test record trigger flow has been successfully created as i open this contact then click on details 
and then in the name field we have same contact name as the account name then here you can see in the email also the test flow so here we have spelling mistake but the same email from the account record is populated over here then let's check opportunities and here also you can see the test record trigger flow opportunity has been successfully created which the stage name is prospecting and here you can see the close date also has been assigned now we need to add condition whenever the account is active then only the contact and opportunity should be created for that we need to edit flow so here i am editing the flow for that here you can see we here we have edit flow button click on it and now here i am opening start element here i am editing this and now here we need to select set entry condition so in the condition requirement we need to select all condition are met and then in the field we need to select active field from the account object so as i click on this here you can see here we have active field click on it and then in the operator equals to and then in the values we have two values no and s yes. so here i am selecting s yes. that means whenever the account is active then only the contact and opportunity should be created so here i am closing this and again we need to save this for that here you can see save as a new version click on it and then again click on save after that activate this flow the flow successfully activated again go to the account object click on new button and then in the account name here i am entering test flow with condition provide email condition test at the rate and now as you scroll down here you can see here we have one active field here we have two options yes or no first here i am selecting no that means this account is not active and then click on save now the test flow with condition has been successfully created now let's create contact has been created or not again to see the newly created contacts here we have list view new this week and this one is older one that we created before adding the condition let's check the opportunities here also we don't have any opportunities that are related to that contact account now again navigate to the contact and again i am creating new account account with active field this time i am not providing email it's not necessary and then in the active field here i am selecting s yes. that means now this time this account is active let's save the changes the account with active field is successfully created now let's check the contacts in the list view select new this week and now here you can see account with active field has been successfully created and this time here is no email because we didn't provide any email on the account record again check the opportunities and in the opportunities also account with active field has been successfully created so in this way we can create the flow to automate the process whenever the new account is created the related contact or opportunity should be created so if you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so whenever we post any new video you will get update thank you